Hello, my name is Adam, welcome to the channel, and welcome to Minecraft Animal Kingdom! I thought I'd try to add some flair to the, um, the intro. Well, what do you think? Actually, you know what? Let's, uh, let's just forget I asked. Anyway, um, just forget I asked them. <laughs> it was bad. Anyway, so last time I was talking about, uh, how we needed neighbors because there were no villages around for whatever reason. The villages weren't spawning in. And um, it was just getting kind of lonely, and we wrote poetry to express those deep and emotion, those deep emotions, and how the loneliness just seemed like an endless pit. And oh, wait a minute, I I don't think you saw that part of the video. Um, <clears throat> I think I'm gonna edit that out. Just disregard that. So, like I said, we uh, we spawned in a village, got ourselves some neighbors, and all seemed hunky dory until I realized. Some really, really bad terraforming happened when the village uh, spawned in. So, I was saying before I had spawned the village in, I was afraid that the village would create some weird terraforming because it needs to like, it needs to flatten out the land. And uh, I was kind of worried that I was gonna do some weird terraforming to the mountain. And uh, yeah, it kind of did, but. Don't worry, um, that's not the worst of it. <laughs> this is. I'm thinking about calling it like Cloud City or like Olympus or something. You know, something that's just like a city that's like hovering in the sky. Like, like that basically. After much, uh, regret on my part, we won't talk about that. Um, I just accepted it and went along with it and Got to meet our neighbors who are rude. Um, <clears throat> got to meet our neighbors. Hello, Georgine. Georgine, I don't remember you actually. What's going on with you today? Let's chat. Man, cookies and milk does sound good. delicious right now. Okay, I know I said they were kind of bad, but you know, they just do things that just win me over. Like, maybe we just got off the wrong foot. Wait. Is that how you say it? Got the wrong foot? I don't know. Anyway, maybe we just, you know. Maybe we just had a bad first impression. Once we get to know each other, everything just works out. Hello, Horace the farmer. I remember you wanted to make that cookie. Uh, you said the thing about the cookie too, and I thought we should make a f uh, thing. Funny, did you hear the one about the cows? I told him a joke. Anyway, I'm getting so mixed up right now. Uh, I said we should make a cookie farm. A cookie farm? <gasps> can we do that? Wait, wait, Horace, can you make that happen? You're a farmer. Can you make a cookie farm? I think he's gonna do it. Yeah. I was saying we should start a club. That's what I was trying to say this whole time. I know, it wasn't really worth it, but I just had to put my thought out there. After all that rambling. So anyway. Hello, uh... Dar Darwin? Darwin the warrior? Hey, good to see you too. Oh, you're friendly. That's the best I've ever heard. Alright. See, now they're friendly. Maybe they just... They're kind of grouchy because they just got spawned into a new world and they didn't know the place. You know? You know you know how it is. You know how it is when you get spawned into a new world. So... I think now... Perhaps maybe we should make our new neighbors feel more at home. Maybe give them some housewarming gifts, maybe decorate their homes, maybe, you know, start that cookie farm, hold them against it till they make it, you know, that sort of stuff. So I think first of all, let's give them some beds, because we all need beds. And they don't have beds right now, and they stand up, they sleep standing up, and it's I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty creepy, and I'm not really into it, so I'm gonna give them beds. And you're all gonna get these pretty, pretty red beds. And they're pretty, because I said that. So you get a bed. And you get a bed. I think there's two people living in here, I'm not sure. And you know what? I do not want illiterate villagers, so you get a bookshelf, and you get a bookshelf. <laughs> On to the next house! And we're not gonna do, you know, 
colors based off gender because I'm <clears throat> lazy. Because red is red is neutral. Yeah. So you get bed and a bed and and you know what? Whoa! Look out! You're getting another bed and another one and another one and another one. Dang! You are so lucky. Debatable. Give you a bookshelf. Look at. Look at those bookshelves you get. Aren't you lucky? Uh, wait, what was your name again? Liberty the Mason. An apple that keeps the zombies away. Thank you for that useless information. Moving on. Ugh, let's see if I can get my big head in here. How'd you get a bookshelf in here? What the heck? Did that glitch through? Or are you really smart? Well, either way, you get a bed. You kind of look like Elsa, actually. And you get a bookshelf. Yes. And you get a joke from me. Don't speak about my pick like that. I have no idea why these people are getting so off offended by these jokes about... Apparently a pig. That I, apparently I'm making jokes about their pigs and they're getting offended. And I'm very confused. So, you know, it's just another day of me interacting with people. You get a bed and... You get a bed, and a bookshelf, and a bookshelf, and that's it. You just get three beds. I mean, I think there's one person living there anyway, so you got more beds than you need, sister. If that isn't even your house, Geraldine. A double bed, and bookshelves. There you go. Um... Over ha. Hello, what's your name? Quinn the guard. Hello, Quinn. Let us chat. You should be thrown in a dungeon. Well, you know what, Quinn? That is your opinion. However, I have the creative powers. You do not. So my opinion outweighs yours. I know that doesn't make sense. But, whatever. By the way... Welcome to your new dungeon, boy! Loser. Ah, uh, yes. Let's just move on to... Okay, let's stay in there. Let us move on to this house. Ah, uh, Mike, Micah the Warrior. Let us talk. Man, Cookies Milk Shirt. You know what, Micah? I think you insulted me last time. I think you're the... No, you weren't the one that almost made me burn down the village. But, you insulted me last time, but you know what? You won me over. There you go. Your consolation prize. I wonder if we do have cookies, I'm sure. <gasps> Micah, I'm about to become your bestest friend. Interact. Gift. How do I gift this to you? This is a pretty good gift. Thank you. You're welcome, Micah. How do I get out of here? I am stuck. No, seriously. I am stuck. What happened? Micah? Micah! Oh. Press escape to exit gift mode. Okay. Micah, I'm telling you a joke. Just so I can get out of this. That's hilarious! She's probably just saying that because I gave her a cookie. I don't blame you though. I mean, I would laugh at anyone's joke if you gave me a cookie. Um, I think... Did you say something about a cookie last time? I don't know if you did, but you know what? You get a cookie! Wow, I actually need one of these. Uh, Michael, we all need cookies. It's just a way of life. In this village, anyway. I don't know about those other villagers, but um... This village? It's a way of life. Hello... Uh... Ingrid? I don't know your name. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't know how you say your name. Ingrid? I'm saying Ingrid. Have a cooker! Thanks, friend. See, I told you. you Want to make friends? Give him a cookie. Have a joke. You shouldn't joke about that. I'm sorry I joked about the cookie crumbling. That was very disrespectful of me. Here, have a gift. You're such a good friend. Yep, I told you. You want to make friends? You just give out cookies. Oh, whose creep's house is this? 
What a weirdo. All those lion statues. Hello. Georgine. Oh, yeah. Pfft, I've seen her like three times and I don't know her name. Uh, have a cookie. You're such a good friend. Oh my gosh. You, you know what? These are my people. Because they like cookies. Here's a joke. That's the best I've ever heard. Hey, Zelda. Here. Have a cooker. You're such a good friend. Oh my gosh, everybody loves me! Here. Have a cooker! Oh wow, I actually need one of these. Yes, yes you did. Milk and cookie sure sounds good. Sorry, I don't have the milk. How did you get out of your prison? Oh wait, I don't think... I think you just look like the guy I threw in prison. He did get out! Uh, here. Have a gift. This is a pretty good gift. Yes, it is. How about a joke? Did you hear the one about the cows? I did not, but I would like to hear it someday. Uh, have a gift. I forgot what I was doing for a second. Thanks, friend. You're welcome. And have a joke. That's low. Um, I don't know what your deal is. I just gave you a He did get out! How did he get out? Curses. Alright, you know what? He accepted the cookie. All is forgiven. Here, have a- Ooh, this is awkward. I am so sorry. I did not know you were sleeping. I'll give you one probably tomorrow. Maybe, if I feel like it. I don't know. Why are you up there? Here, have a gift. Fetcher. Hey, this is pretty cool. Yes, I know. Cookies are awesome. Cookies are love. Cookies are life. And they're just fine. Hit my toe when I woke up this morning. Hope that cookie makes you feel good. Here, Elsa. Have a cookie. Alright. I think I won them over enough with gifts and housewarming stuffs. Like, cookies. Uh... He just slid across the bed like a hockey puck. Oop! Oop! Sorry for throwing up from bed. Oh! No, no, no! Oh, that was awkward. Uh, we don't- we, Let's not talk about that. <laughs> Ew. Oh, I missed a house. I think you need a bed and some books. Books! Books! Lovely books! Here. Take a gift. Take a cooker. Hey, this is pretty cool. You know, I am so glad that all- You know, I am so glad that all you people really accepted these cookies. Because, tell you the truth, if you didn't, I was probably gonna, like, you know, throw you out of the- Throw you out of town, but, um, I don't have to, so... This saves me from an awkward experience, and this saves you from having to be ostracized from town. It's worked out for all of us. Awesome. Alright guys, well, I think we did enough today to make these guys feel nice and welcome. We gave them beds, we gave them books, but best of all, we gave them cookies. And I think that is more than enough um, to make them feel welcome in this new world and in this new village. And we made a ton of friends because of cookies. I think cookies are the solution to all the world's problems. Probably not actually. Maybe just world peace, I don't know. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, please leave me a comment, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.